What's up guys, my name is Caleb Evans and today I'm gonna to be making a underwater clay coral piece. I've done a couple of these before and I love the way they turn out. One of my favorite parts about living in Hawaii is the fish, the coral, the sea life. This thing is really cool. It's like a piece of me that I put into my art. Every detail gets a lot of thought put into it. For anybody that puts their heart into something, you know how satisfying it is whenever somebody else can see what you see in it too. I know it's gonna be a lot of work to do this, try to see the finished product. And we're gonna get started right now and first by making the coral got to have a wire structure all throughout so now that i have the coral done i'm going to be putting the clay and this part can take a lot of clay sometimes i waste a lot of got to not make it too thick and too heavy so i'm also going to be poking little holes into the coral The second type of coral I got is called tube sponge. I guess it's not actually a coral, it's a sponge. I don't really know the difference. So now I've been finished with my coral. I've got my fish made. They're actually just foam pieces for the inside. This is just the best way that I've found to do this. Then I'm gonna start making the fins and attaching them on with wire and glue. You don't wanna skip any details with this type of art. Next, what I have to make is the starfish and the seahorse. So I just start with a normal little piece of clay and then I start molding it to be a star shape. And I just organically make this all by hand and that's kind of the fun part because I don't have any kind of mold or guidelines. I just use my mind and my hands so fun because they always turn out a little bit different. My hands are my best tools I have, guys. These things are priceless and they always do just what I want them to do. I do see a lot of orange in this type of coral, but for this one, I'm gonna make it blue and purple just to add a little bit of variation in color because I want this thing to be colorful and, you know, beautiful just like the underwater world is. Alright guys, so I'm finally finished with this clay coral piece. This is one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. Wish I had one of these for myself. So I've been working on this thing for about a week now. Every time I make one of these, it's different. What makes me the most happy is to know that I can do this and record it and share it with other people. I really appreciate everybody who supports me and follows my art and this channel. Guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you all for supporting me and subscribing to me. I will be doing a lot more art. So until next time, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that creation. Peace out.